this is Vicki with My Paper Connection. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to make this super, super cute card and I'm using the Awesome Otters stamp set. I'm also using the Rainbow and Happiness Celebration paper. So I got this stamp set and these fun papers for free. Absolutely free. All I had to do was spend $50 in either the mini catalog or the annual catalog and I, would, I was able to pick one item for free with every $50 purchase. And this cute little awesome otter stamp set is one of the items that I chose. There's so many really cool things in here. I think there's four different um, DSPs and then I don't know how many stamp sets. But if you do not have a catalog and a celebration brochure, please let me know because I would love to get one out to you. And hopefully you'll love these papers and stamp sets as much as I do. Okay, let's get started. Okay, for my card, I am going to use thick basic white, and it is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Go ahead and just burnish this. And then I'm going to take a piece of basic white, just regular basic white, that is four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to run it through the macrame embossing folder. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have that done, I am going to apply my little pieces, and I believe these are one and a quarter by one and a quarter, but don't worry, all my supplies, measurements, and everything will be on my website um, so that you can, you can find out um, everything that I used and all the sizes. I'm going to bring in my seal and just put a little adhesive on it. And I'm going to just place these in staggering ways, like right here. And then I will do this bumblebee colored one. That is the back side of this really cute rainbow paper. And then I'm going to add these two other pieces. And now I'm just going to place this onto the front of my card base. I always like to make sure that my corners are even. And that way it'll have the same, same the equal spacing throughout. That looks like it's a little crooked, so I'm going to fix that. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm bringing in a piece of basic white, and I'm going to stamp my otter that is in water. I'm going to stamp that, and I'm also going to stamp a party hat. And then I'm done with the memento black. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color all of this. I'm using granny apple green for the hat. And I'm going to use the bullet point of my dark one, my dark marker, just to kind of do a few spots here and there. Then I'll go in with the lighter one. And this is also granny apple green. And I'll color that in. I'm also using the bullet point for this one as well. Um, it's important when you're doing small pieces to use the bullet point because the um, brush side of it is thick and it releases more ink and the ink can tend to bleed and you don't want that. All right, then I'm going to use Balmy Blue for the circles and I'm using the dark first. And then come back in with the light. All right, so now let's do the otter. I'm gonna start out with the soft suede, and then I'm gonna use crumb cake for the otter itself. And I will start with the darkest one first. I'm gonna do his eyebrows and um, just right along his hairline, a little bit on his ears. Now I'm gonna go back in with, I'm gonna go back in with the light soft suede. Okay, 
I'm going to come in with the dark crumb cake and just go along his little mouth and smile area. And then come in with the lighter crumb cake and fill it in. All right, so now I'm going to use light and dark um, Knight of Navy. And I'm also going to bring out the light basic black to do his nose before I forget that. Looks like I smeared it a little bit, but it's okay. I'm going to use the dark Knight of Navy and I will fill in the splash points and the waves. And I don't actually think that that smudge that I did when the ink was still a little bit wet, I don't think it's going to show. And then I'm going to actually come in here and just blend all of this together. And I'm going to bring it out on the outside of where the image is actually at because I'm going to punch this out and it's going to be fine. I think I need to get a new Knight of Navy marker. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my color lifter because I want it to have some variation in the water and I feel like this will help it look more like there's a, a depth to the water with the waves and such. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my Label Me Lovely punch and I'm going to punch out my cute little fella. And I see that it goes lower than I thought it was. So I'm just going to go ahead and so just going to go ahead and add my water down below, fill that in. And again, I'm going to bring in my color lifter and just kind of add a little bit of wave texture to it like that. Okay, I'm also going to cut out a piece of pool party using my Label Me Lovely. And then I also need to fussy cut my little hat. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it out of this big piece so it'll be easier to manage. And when you're fussy cutting, you want to keep your elbow in. You don't want to be doing your arm like this. You want to keep your elbow in and guide the paper with the scissors. So when it's time to turn, you turn your paper instead of your arm. And then you leave, leave a little bit of the white so that it looks almost like it is die cut. And I do like to go around the edges so that it, so you can kind of see the poofiness of the, of the um, ball or the pom-pom, I guess is the word for it, that's at the top of the, the party hat. And then I'm just going to blunt that sharp, sharp edge right there so that it looks more rounded. And I'll do the same here. Okay, so let's put this together. One of the things that you can do with punches is you can make them be larger. And I'm going to make this like border on here. So I've cut it in half. I'm gonna make it look like it's actually bigger than it is. I'm putting some seal on both the top and the bottom of my little otter piece. And I know that it's dirty right there. I got ink on it. It's okay, I'm gonna fix that. So then you'll just put it in place like that and flip it over and do the same thing. Now I have seen people that actually punched out more than one. It's not necessary though, because you can just cut it in the middle back there and do it like that. All right. So now I'm going to bring in my uh, Silver and Clear Epoxy Essentials. This, they just happen to have one that looks like either raindrops or um, tears or something. I'm actually going to use my marker. This is the Dark Knight of Navy. And I'm going to color in some of these dots. I'm gonna let them dry a little bit before I mess with them so it, I don't get it all over my fingers. Okay. 
while that's drying, I will pop this up on dimensionals. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put this in place. And I'm going to put it right in the center. Then I'm going to take my little hat. I'm going to stick a dimensional on the back of the pom-pom and add a little bit of seal on the back of it. So what's going to happen is it will so it'll sit on his head, but it'll also go off the side like that, and it'll be popped up. All right, so let's hide my boo-boos, okay? And the way we're gonna do this, these can either be raindrops or they can be tears. I am gonna use them as splashes. And I'm gonna cover those spots up. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is to stamp its birthday time. Whoops, I messed up. I'm gonna do it again. It's kind of hard to do it and not get your head in the camera. And that's what I was trying to make happen. So I'm gonna use this piece here and do another one. Okay, all right, that's good. All right, so let's put these on and we'll be done with the outside of our card. I'm gonna place my It's Birthday Time up here, and then one down here in the space that is available. And I did that on purpose, right here. Okay, now we're gonna stamp the inside and we'll be done. Isn't this just adorable? I love this little fella. I love otters anyway. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm terrified of snakes. And so here in Georgia, whenever I see people posting snake pictures in the spring and summer, I start posting otter pictures because they just make me happy. <laughs> and I was so excited when I saw this was available in the celebration stamp set. It's just so happy. And along with this paper, it's just Fun, fun, fun. All right, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you, if you would like to see more, hit subscribe and ring the bell and you'll get noticed when I have future videos coming out. If you would like a catalog, please let me know. I would love to get one out to you. If you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love to be yours. All right, thank you and have a great day. Bye.